Hello, everyone. Welcome to Behind the Mic. Gary Laubach, Mike Joseph. Glad you have joined us once again as we get ready to travel to Worcester, Massachusetts on Saturday afternoon for a 1 o'clock matchup in a game that has a little bit of a different vibe because it's Patriot League action now. And, and naturally, we go up against the team that right now looks like they're favored to win the league. Uh, they're outstanding. I mean, this is a team that really, honestly, if they look in their own locker room, they should be 4-0. Mm -hmm. I mean, they had Connecticut 20-7 uh, to with a couple minutes left in the third quarter. And then last week, obviously, an extra point uh, took that win away from them and then missing the two-point conversion. But this is a team that really hits on all – all facets. They can do everything offensively. With Peter Polios, they're fantastic. You're going to see him in an NFL camp next year. He's come back so strong uh, off of that knee injury, and I think he's going to be. Uh, uh, this is going to be the team to beat down the road. Interesting that this is a ball club that came off a fabulous win over New Hampshire. I mean, that around the country probably considered a big upset. And then they go and take on Dartmouth, and as Mike mentioned, they win the game with an extra point. If they make it, they don't. It's blocked. They win the game with a two-point conversion in overtime. They don't, and they end up losing that football game to Dartmouth by a 27-26 score. Any hangover from that loss? Um, I don't think so. I think it's just anger. I think it's mm -hmm. the fact that they had that game won. And Coach Gilmore, obviously, you got to give him some credit for going for two. He did not have to go for two. But when you're on the road, sometimes you have the momentum. You just scored. You want to take the opportunity to make that, uh, that conversion. And I think he made the right choice. But I don't think there's much of a hangover. They're coming home. Uh, and they're going to be at home for a Patriot League game, their uh, Patriot League home opener. So uh, I think uh, that's going to be riding high for Holy Cross. And they've got to win the home games because they have road games against Fordham and Lehigh. So the, this is a big football game, obviously, for them. It all starts with Peter Pujols, probably the best quarterback in the entire uh, league. Uh, no question about it. He has put up spectacular numbers, and uh, he's got great receivers. He's got Dina Cola, Bell, Montgomery. Those three guys have 52 catches alone. So it is a very potent offensive attack. But their running game hasn't quite been what you would think it would be uh, with a good outstanding running back in Daquan Walker. Yeah, I think Daquan's been a little nicked up. He hasn't played as much, I think, and gotten the actual touches that they've wanted. Um, but you could look at a guy like you and I talk about Blaze Bell, mm -hmm. a guy that uh, uh, we saw play backup quarterback mm -hmm. for so many years. And then you got to find a way to get your best 11 on the field. And again, give Coach Gilmore a lot of credit. He put a kid in a position to make plays, to get touches, one of the best athletes on the team. And Peter Pulios has really found, I think, uh, a star in him. So they, they're becoming a, a very good connection. But Pulios does everything well. I mean, he really does everything well. He hasn't run the ball as much since the injury and really since the uh, junior and senior year. But um, he's always a threat. You cannot allow him to get outside the pocket he'll hurt you you can't let him extend plays he'll hurt you so uh, Lafayette's going to have their hands full getting to quarterbacks not only in creating those first down and long or excuse me second and longs and third and longs I think that's the way to get off the field defensively and there are some been, been some positives for Lafayette obviously Sean O'Malley playing better he again is Patriot League rookie of the week that's his second honor as the rookie of the week he had a career game last week in the football game and, uh, of course, I think the defense is playing a little bit better. Brandon Bryant looks like it's a Brandon Bryant of old. Uh, Brandon Bryant is, was fantastic. This is the first game I saw him just – fly just go to the football mm -hmm. didn't seem like he, it looked like he had his legs underneath him so a couple it took a couple games to get into it but I saw him making plays in the flat he looks he looks so fast and quick to me he let it fly just let it hang out there and what we call emptied the tank I, th I thought he was fantastic a bunch of tackles and on the other side you talked about Sean O'Malley I mean like you can just see the maturation I mean if you're in the stands watching and you guys you and I get to see every play but the way he climbs the pocket the way he sees down the field again just rushes a few throws here and there but that's what a freshman's going to do. He makes some mistakes, but 325 yards, Patriot League Rookie of the Week, we wouldn't want it any other way. The one area where, of course, we could ill afford to lose anybody was that offensive line. Greaser, Marotti were out injured. Marotti, I think, came back in the ball game on Saturday. Uh, Mike, that will continue to haunt us, I think, all year long. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be patchwork from here on in, but give Coach Samus a lot of credit. I, I thought they, if they didn't have to get into a situation where they needed to throw the ball so much, they would have run the ball for 100 yards. They had 50 yards rushing, except for a couple sacks here or there. They had 50 yards rushing by uh, Deshaun Brown, and I thought C.J. Emil did a great job as well. But they were on their way to a very good rushing game, but they were taken out of the running game by the ability, the fact that they were behind. They had to throw the ball. So I think things are moving along and give those guys a lot of credit. We had a patchwork offensive line, and I still think they did very well. Well, this game takes on extra importance. It's the Lafayette first Patriot League game of the season. We'll be in Worcester, Massachusetts. You can watch the ball game on LSN, or of course, if you have RCN, you can watch the game on RCN TV. Masson will also be bringing this ball game. So uh, make sure you tune in if you can't get up there, and we'll see you next week behind the mic.